everyone, it's Kenyan Fat Chick here. I'm about to do an alcohol review. Well, actually, a cooler review. I was going to do three of them, but unfortunately, somebody decided to go into my little bar fridge and everything else and hop the fence. Now, I'm just going to say right now, yes, my back deck is a mess and it's in the progress of being rearranged. So I, I will get to that shortly, but after digging holes in the backyard and helping my whole family, you know, get filler for the backyard down because it was flooding we are officially done so i'm just gonna let you know now palm bay key lime cherry oh my dear god it is like awesome it's a fruit explosion in your mouth it's like a jolly rancher that was lime and cherry had a baby and then it is become x-rated and put alcohol into it and make sure that it had a fizzy bubbly aftertaste on the tongue and i'm going to tell you right now that is one seductive mistress so yeah i'm actually thinking about turning this vlog into the fat chick's guide to eating and drinking things without giving a shit or giving a damn I haven't quite decided yet, but I'm not giving you a review. So, prime my language. This is going to be a 19 plus or 18 plus, depending where you are from, review of the Palm Bay. Um, if somebody hadn't broken into our lovely bar fridge, I would be reviewing today Pop Shop Lime Ricky and the Pop Shop Hard Cream Soda. I was not impressed. Finding that, you know, around 4 o'clock in the morning, my German Shepherd going off, and then sometime, you know, a nice little black silhouette running off with a couple cans of booze. But I'm going to tell you one more thing I will review soon for you. It'll probably be tomorrow night. You know, after I've been cooking on the grill or something, which is back there. I'm thinking about doing a vlog about making jerk pork tenderloin. And using homemade rub versus bottled. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, no, it's uh, interesting. This is something that I'm going to tell the truth on, okay? I had a guy in college I used to like. He had a philosophy in life. He used to go to McDonald's every single day or every single time. And if he wanted an ice cream or something, or if he wanted extra something on his burger or whatever he wouldn't go to the skinny women he wouldn't go to the skinny men he would purposely look for a fat person because in his philosophy the fat person knew what was good stuff all right so he literally would stand up and go i'm not getting served by you i'll wait i'm not getting served by you i'll wait great there's a fat person the fat person is going to put tasty extra sauce hot fudge whatever on my ice cream pardon my burp and you know, or they're going to give me extra sugar syrup in my coffee for the iced coffee. He would purposely go to them and say to them, hey, you know, can you make this proper? And look at them go, my McFlurry is going to get extra topping inside. Just you wait. You got the skinny person. I got the fat one. So I've always been told being fat has been a stereotype of always liking food. What can I say? It's an addiction. And it's an addiction you have to live with. But at the same time, if I'm going to go down for this addiction, I'm going to go down having fun doing it. You know, and I, everybody's going to go, oh, you need to go on a diet and everything like that. Screw off. Okay. I once was about 400 pounds. I for about 366. We're just going to go there. I've gained uh, off and on all my life from being a size 18 plus to size 28 plus. It's not how you look on the outside that defines your freaking beauty. It's how you actually treat others and how, you know, you see people for who they are. So yeah, screw your beauty standards. If that's the reason why you're here, just make comments. You can go now. But yeah, as I was saying, this beast... That's my second. I got a whole lot more in that fridge. It's summer. I've been working hard in the backyard. Time to spoil myself. Anyhow, guys, 
If I was to give this about, uh, what was that? Six cans, those six cans? I'd be doing it. Have a good night, folks. Bye.